The Michigan football team getting set for their New Year's Day bowl game against South Carolina in Tampa. Yes, they are. But back here at home, one player's efforts to give back to a local charity have gone viral and has the Michigan community rallying together once again. Seven Action Sports reporter Justin Rose with more. We know by now that sports can be used as a powerful tool to take a stand, to try to make a point, and even impact change. This upcoming Monday during the Outback Bowl, you'll see Michigan in the typical maize and blue on the field, but a few of the players and coaching staff will be sporting another color, all thanks to the generosity of a fan base for a cause that continues to grow. Michigan players are in and out of Schembechler Hall on a daily basis. But a few months ago, redshirt junior Chase Vinovich saw someone outside of the building he hadn't seen before and decided to start up a conversation. I remember that day when Chase came up to the window. I was uh, in the Chad Tough car and he knocked on my window and I opened it and he said, Hi, Mrs. Carr, I'm Chase Winovich and I want to do something to help you guys raise money for DIPG. Winovich already owns Luscious Locks, but he decided he'd make a splash. If $15,000 was raised, Chase would dye his hair orange. Other players got on board as well, challenging the Michigan faithful to reach higher. Grant Newsom, Mo Hurst, Devin Bush, and Josh Metellus all helped push the donations to top $100,000. Defensive coordinator Don Brown's mustache also in the running, as it will be a secondary color on Monday. The fact it's grown this big in just over a week has simply been stunning. I mean, I knew the Michigan community was strong, and I knew people cared, but I just didn't know to that extent. And I mean, uh, it's not it's not about me necessarily, but just just so happy, just just in my heart, man, just filled with love, and uh, just to see people just on Christmas Day just donating thousands of dollars when you know they could be spending time with their families, and I mean, it was just an awesome feeling. So yeah, I was I was shocked. But that's not where the money ends. Michigan Regent Ron Weiser is going to match the total donations, further cementing that the Chad Tuff Foundation's drive for a cure is still a top priority in the Michigan community. It's exciting for us to see young people using the platform that they have to do something good. We know, we believe that one day, because of all of these pieces coming together that one day during our lifetime we truly believe that there will be a cure for DIPG. Now if you want to get involved in donating it's easy just head over to our website wxyz.com we'll put a link to that donation page in this story. Justin Rose 7 Action Sports. Wow pretty wow. amazing because they are young but they went for it and it's amazing you huh? Know, and what's cool is because of that the national television will talk about it a which absolutely. will further educate people and further bring more money and it's just a win-win. Right, and then Ron's going to double the amount of money. It's already at 165. Good job. Mm -hmm. Good job.